So the next step is now that we've got these guys in, in true Mega Mink style, we're going to put these corners in here. And what we're going to have to do is exactly the way that we did with the Mega Minxes and the Circle Minks and the Mercury Minks is we roll it in from up here. So let's see what's already up here that we can use. Uh, how about this one? This is the green, dark blue, and yellow that belongs over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it, as you recall, down here so that it's going to be in the same plane as this guy, as the dark green, as the dark, as the dark blue and light green. And I'm going to move this up here so that this can roll into this. And I'm just going to go bang, 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 and move this back so this is in and turn it back. Interestingly enough, it's not going to mess any of these guys up, and it's going to roll this into place. Which is why I don't worry about these guys yet. Alright, so what else? Sometimes you get a cascade effect where you put one in and then the other's ready to go, the other's ready to go. Uh, if I don't have another one that's ready to go and ready to be put in, then I'm going to have to move it out from here. Sometimes they're actually in, but they're in the rotated wrong. So, re um, well, let's look for the next one. Pink, red, and blue. Where is the pink, red, and blue? Oh, it's right here. Pink, red, and blue. Actually, this is an example of what I mean. This is in the right place. It's just rotated wrong. See? So I'm going to position it to where I bring this up to the opposite side of my bottom side, which is white. In this case, it's gray. Move it up here. And I just roll it out. And I keep rolling it until I can roll it in. You recall this from the Mercury Cube and the Circle Minx. There it is. Roll it back. And no worries. So this is in place. This is in place. How about the red, green, and beige? If we're lucky, it's up here. And it's not up there. So we can look for it along here. This we can put in appropriately down here, so we have to move this out. Moving this out is actually no problem at all, because we're not worried about these edges yet. So basically we just move this up to our side here, move it across, and then move this back. It's really as simple as that. So this now must get rolled into this area here. So put it into position, so it's going to be just below this guy. Just look to see if you guys can see that. Okay. Move this in here like so, and roll it in. Oh, my carpal tunnel is going to love me for this. Okay, and that's uh, that needs to be rolled in here, and then, and then we're good. I think we have a NOAA emergency. All right, so tragedy solved. Anyway, blue, green, and purple, and then look, horror of horrors, we batted one of these guys out, but, but that's okay. Don't panic, we can, we can get that in. Um, just as long as we're moving through these guys, that probably happened as I, as I shifted that out. So that won't be a problem. Basically, why don't I go like one, two, move this up, one, two, move this down. Okay. Now, I'm going to alert you to something. There's going to be trouble if I don't fix something now. Notice how this is in, this is in, this is in, and these two are not in. That's not going to be something we're going to be able to fix. So I'm going to want to actually make some changes with this right now uh, before it becomes a problem because the last one among the last steps is going to be rotating these guys around. But this is not a configuration that's going to work. So what I'm going to do is actually do some swapping here. Actually... Swap this with here, up here, 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 and down. And then I'm going to swap one, two, here, and two, and down. And then I'm going to swap these guys here, 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 and down. Okay. And then swap these guys here. One, two, bang, one, two. Took me a while to figure out that I had to fix that. But anyway, so these are all in place now. So if you see that, take that opportunity to fix that. Anyway, this is in place, this is in place, this is in place. I now need the um, blue and uh, 
purple and green. Blue, purple, and green. Aha! I got lucky. It's up here. All right, so move this down here. One, two, and this gets rolled in. And bring it on down. So this step is pretty automatic. Not a lot of tricks there. Purple, beige, right here. Purple, beige, and orange, purple, beige. Okay, so we're just gonna flip this out. Now, if I do that, I'm gonna kind of mess this center up. So I might actually do it from this perspective. Turn, turn, turn. And that's probably something I should have pointed out earlier rather than later, is to make sure that when I flip it out, I don't, uh, I don't move it from the fixed side because uh, it's, it's gonna mess things up, which you can easily put back in. Anyway, we'll put this in as promised. One, two. And it's, it was actually yellow, not beige, and move this in. Okay, so the end result of that is this is in place, this is in place, this, all, all these are in place over here. So we're gonna to move to the next step. And the next step is putting these guys in place. All right, the next part is putting the top edges in place. The, um, or the edges over here to kind of um, complete the task here. And then I'm gonna be putting these corner pieces in. Um, the technique is gonna be very similar. This is actually already in place here. Um, so let's see what's up here that's not silver that we can put in. I'm generally going to want to save these guys for the last because they both have fixed centers and I can easily just do a quick rotate in into here. So I'm going to save that because I might have to turn things upside down. So here's a blue and beige. So this needs to be rotated into here. Now what's the best way of doing that? Well, I can't do the rotational algorithm again because these, these, and these all have to be in place. So what I need to do is somehow work in a Mercury, or rather a Venus algorithm in, in terms of, in order to put that back in place. So I can move this here where this is on the top and turn this up here. But the problem is that it's rotated wrong. It's actually backwards. So this is where I use this here to turn this upside down. So turn and do it again. And there it is. So how am I gonna turn this into, into place over here? Well, I could turn it over here. Once again, turn this down and turn this across and do a Venus algorithm to rotate this up to here. Now when I do that, I think I might risk messing these up so we're just gonna be, have to be cognizant of that or what I could do is I can turn this to the next banded side, which is here, and just put it in that way. So, algorithm here. So this will rotate up to here, so this blue will come up to here, and then we'll rotate this back to here. Turn, 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 one, two, three, turn. So that did put this over here. Let's move this twice here and move it back. And I did it that way because I was able to put this into place without messing with these guys. All right, so this is in, this is in. What else do we got? Well, we've got blue and orange. So I'm gonna use the same strategy. Am I gonna be able to use this to uh, move it in by the Venus algorithm? Move this down here, move this across. Uh, nope, so I gotta turn this once again upside down. Just move it here and do exactly the same thing. Swapping algorithm. Do it again. And there it is. So exactly the same thing. I wanna move this in place here. I put it here. But by doing that, I worry about messing these guys up. So what if I were to once again move this up to the pink side, which kind of lands me far away from anything here. I'm not gonna mess anything up from here. And this blue will move up to meet this blue here. So, down, cross, up, cross, down. One, two, three, up. Oh, my poor carpal tunnel. Anyway, there's this over here. Turn it twice here, move it back. So this is in place, this is in place, this is in place. What do we got going up here? Now we've got the pink and green, probably the last of our complicated sides. 
That's moving this over to here. Now this is interesting because I've only got two that are in place. So I can rotate this in by um, uh, just a rotational algorithm. I don't want to hold it here because if I do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess these middle ones up. So I can maybe turn it like this and then start rotating until it's over here. One, two, three, bang. Not yet. There it is here. And there it is there. Okay, so we didn't mess anything up. This is in place. This is in place. This is in place. This is in place. Now we just have the orange and green. Now this, I said, was the easiest one to put in because there's no banded sides to worry about. Let me show you how easy it is. Hold it here. Boom. 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 So we made short work of that. So we put all of our middle edges in. And now after our middle edges are in, actually let's see how we're doing up here. Yeah, we're still doing good up here. Now we want to put these guys in. These guys are going to be the easiest. Well, I don't want to say they, they are the easiest, but it takes a slightly different strategy than you may have seen. So here's the uh, pink, red, and beige which needs to go into here. Now this is, this, there is an algorithm with this, but you don't really need to memorize it. It's really a matter of strategy. But I'm gonna turn this to where what I have to put in here is located directly behind it. So it's within the same plane, but it's right behind it. It's, it's at the very, it's at the corner that's behind what has to come into here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep positioning it to where I can eventually line it up with this guy and move it in. So it's always gonna start off the same. We're gonna start off with a, um, we're going to start off with an R, which brings it down here. Then we're going to do a UI, and then we're going to go and do a RI. And that's to see if this lines up. It doesn't. If it doesn't, then we go back with a U, and then once again with an R. And that's to rotate it. Then we're going to do a UI and an RI, which brings the center back bring it back with a U, and now we're gonna to wanna to move this back again and follow suit. So once again, an R, and then I'm gonna move this back over here, this corner back here with the two UI here, so that I can move this back in and see where I'm at. I move it back in and you can see these colors match. If that matches, and if this is lined up, the, outers, the outer edge with this corner, I'm gonna move this to a two U to bring it in place here. Then I'm gonna bring my R back up, bring it in line here with a UI and then bring it down. So you can see I just position this in. So you can kind of study those algorithms, but really it's just more a matter of positioning and watching it. An algorithm is used if you really cannot cognitively keep track of everything that you're doing. This you actually can. So let's do another one just by way of illustration. So how about this? And there will be a cascade effect where as you put in one, you put another and put in another. So this guy belongs over here. So we're gonna move this back here. The first move will take this and move it down here, kind of bat it out of the way. So turn so that it's here. And then I'm going to turn this back here so that when I turn it back, it matches it. Bang. You can see the colors don't quite line up. The green is supposed to be here. So I'm going to turn this back here so I can turn it once again with an R move out of the way. So I turn it here to rotate it, turn it away so that I can move this center back up. There it is there. I'm going to turn it again so that I can move this down here. Then I'm going to move this outer edge back to here. So it's back over here. Then I move this back up. Still not in line and I just repeat. Bring this back down here for the purposes of rotating it. This is going to come down to here. So rotate. So this is here. This is back here. Turn. Bring this up. Turn it back so that I can rotate this back down here. Now I'm going to move this back again by two, one, two, and then once again move this to meet it, and you can see the colors here are lined up. Then it's just a matter of turning it twice here, bringing this R back up so that this can match it and bring it down. It's a lot easier to do than to describe, and it, it is pretty intuitive, but I think you got the picture. So again, the cascade effect. This needs to be rolled into here, so move it back here, move it down, 
move this across to see where it ends up with this middle, bring it in, you can see the colors are all lined up. So move it two by here, bring this up, bring this back, bring it down. So now that's in place and I haven't screwed anything else up. What else we got? Blue, pink, green. Right over here. All right, so same thing. Move this down, the center's here, move this up. Move this back up to see if it matches. It does. So move it twice, one, two, bring this up, bring it in, bring it down, so it matches. What else we got, are we done? Ooh, I think we're done. Yeah, so you can see, well, no, we're not done. This is here, but it's at the wrong place. So we have to sort of bat this out. Bring this over here, bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back, bring it out twice, and bring it down. And my purpose for doing that is to Kind of pick that up again. So this will come down, cross, down. So the overall effect is it moved that back here. So boom, 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 no. So move it back, up, cross. This comes down. Move this back here to bring this back over here again. Move this twice, one, two. Move this in, this matches. Bring it back twice, move this up. I really hope I'm not going too fast and down here. So now everything is in. So we have all of our first layers except for the inner corners. I'm gonna save that for the end. And all of these outer and inner edges are where they're supposed to be as well as the outer corners.